In 2019, Kentucky Senator Max Wise's bill requiring school resource officers at all public schools passed into law. It came after the 2018 school shooting at Marshall County High School that left two dead and dozens more wounded. But many smaller districts haven't been able to meet that mandate for funding or other reasons. Schools generally pay local law enforcement agencies for trained SROs. So WISE introduced SB2, which would create a new guardian program, allowing those not currently on duty as a police officer or sheriff's deputy to be armed to help protect a school. I think this is good for urban. I think it's good for also rural. You look at some eastern Kentucky counties right now that are really struggling. They couldn't find someone to fulfill that SRO. Wise says about 600 school buildings in Kentucky currently don't have SROs as required by the 2019 law. Nearly half of all the school buildings statewide, with about 790 SROs on duty in Kentucky. The new program would allow districts to hire someone retired from the military in the last five years, a retired state trooper, a retired federal law enforcement agent, or a retired law enforcement officer specifically trained to protect public spaces as a guardian. These new positions would not have arrest powers, but would be armed and could respond to school shootings or other emergencies with force. State Representative Steve Doan of Erlanger is on the Education Committee and says Erlanger schools have enough SROs. But so long as we've got appropriate training in place and there's proper supports, I, I think that it would be a good step forward to allow those jurisdictions that can't afford SROs to have them. Senate Bill 2 would require some training, but not to the level of current SROs. The bill also gives more resources to track and help address trauma in public schools, and it would create a new mapping system to allow law enforcement to know as much as possible about the layout of every school building in the state. Back to you, Adam. James, thank you. And adding the guardians option is also seen as an alternative to training and arming teachers, something Ohio has done for a while and Indiana lawmakers decided to do last year. You can read a full copy of the new bill inside James's story at local12.com or on our free Local 12 News app. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.